Okay, guys, good morning. I think we can get started here. Going on today, got a grammar lesson 21 due tonight. Uh, I didn't put it on the agenda because it's a thing for tomorrow, but uh, since I won't see it till Monday, just put it out there. I'll have it on the agenda, but it is a uh, vocab test 11 will pop up tomorrow and you need to finish that by Friday. Uh, AP Classroom, uh, check your notes on the five videos on word choice, imagery, symbols, and comparison. So we've gotten to this. That's the, that's the rest of the notes except for the writing ones. So got that done. And we are going to start one more story together today. It's a longer one. Um, I'm going to have, like the other one, I'm going to have you start it in breakout groups. And there is an assignment that I'll uh, look at with you in just a sec. Um, for you to finish it uh, by tomorrow night. Um, we're not gonna have a chance really to meet live and talk about it though. So I'm gonna have you do some reader's logs and then I'm gonna just kind of post a review video and kind of touch it on some things that I see in the story and maybe even highlight some things that you turn in about it. Maybe I'll wait till over the weekend or later on Friday uh, to do that since you'll have your stuff turned in. And because um, with the nature of when we can have live classes, we're definitely gonna to need to do the MCQ on Monday and the FRQ on Wednesday for Unit 7 Short Fiction, okay? So that means that we'll do the MCQ in person, a lot of us, and I'll have the rest of you kind of zoomed in on phones like we usually do, um, and it'll still be digital. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we'll all be remote, but we'll, but we'll all do it handwritten and then upload an image of our handwritten stuff, which is gonna be I'm gonna ask you to try to figure out the best, the very best well-lit sharp image way for you to upload those images because I'm kind of dreading uh, grading those, but you know, that's what we gotta do to practice because that's how it's gonna be on the test. All right, and then in the meantime, since we will start after spring break, and I know I haven't given you any materials for it or anything, um, but I do want you to be thinking about kind of narrowing down your choice for an independent novel, uh, which we will start after spring break. Um, and we're going to kind of simultaneously do one more poetry unit is what, is what I've decided with that. I'm not going to like, you know, what else can we do, right? Um, I think we're probably less behind than a lot of people though. So we're still doing all the units one way or another. Okay. Any questions about any of that so far? No, all good. Okay. Let me screen share back one more time to show you. The assignment that I put up today in case you haven't looked yet. So interpreter of maladies. Do we know that word? Malady? What's a malady? Maladies, plural of malady. Feel free to speak Apparently out. Apparently it's sickness of sorts. Yeah, sickness or disease. Or something. So um, an interpreter of maladies, interesting title there, kind of maybe playing with the meanings of words there, mixing yeah. different things together. Um, so it's a little longer, I think it's about 14 pages. Um, powerful story, for sure. Um, kind of a different cultural viewpoint. It's an Indian story. Um, but someone, if you look at the little blurb at the bottom of the page, uh, the author, a female author who's had uh, pl plenty of American and European experience as well as being Indian uh, herself. And that kind of definitely resonates and shows in the story. So we're gonna ask you to read the story. We're gonna start in breakout rooms uh, today, get you off to a good start and maybe kind of chatting about it together. And then you're gonna do the eight discussion questions on 159. And I want you to try to consider in the ways that you answer skills, uh, the unit skills that you've been learning about through the videos and or looking back at the, uh, at the, at the unit skills document. And also do two reader's logs uh, based on specific quotes. And I think the, probably a good way for me to do that review video would be to maybe kind of highlight some of the ideas that you guys came up with um, for that. And I want those to be based in you know, showing a quote as usual connected to a skill and then write about how your little analysis uh, about how it connects there. And that's due by Thursday night, okay? So I think that gives you plenty of time to do it, even though it's kind of longer. Just get a good chunk of the reading in today in your group. You can do some tonight, and you don't really have any live classes tomorrow, and you're sleeping in. So I think that should be plenty enough time to do that, and then we can uh, move on with finishing the unit over the weekend, Friday and over the weekend. Okay, coming off screen share, and 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people, two large groups or three smaller groups? Two, two large. I'm seeing two large from several people, so I'll go with that. And then I'll give you like six or seven people each. You guys like the, the less pressure approach, right? Okay, so anyway, it starts on page 141. Um, get done what you can, taking turns reading and chatting about it, maybe even kind of looking at the questions ahead of time so you can kind of chat about those as you go. Officially, our bell goes until 10.15, so if you're still kind of working then, I'll give you the, the countdown to, to get off, okay? All good? We got rooms to sign automatically, and there you go.